How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video where I'm putting myself on screen like this. It's been a while since I last made a video where I put myself on screen. It's taken me a while to organise this space and I, I will give you an actual setup tour in a, a separate video but in this one I'm going to do some drawing and I'm going to be drawing in my sketchbook this moleskin sketchbook. Don't worry, it's not actually made of moleskin, that's just the brand, but these are really good quality. Anyways, let me switch over to a top-down view and I can do some drawing. When I was looking through this sketchbook, I saw that for some reason I hadn't drawn on this page and usually I tend to draw on all pages, both the front and the back, and so I'm going to work on this page today. Also, here's a drawing of a colossal turd I had done a few years ago. <laughs> I feel like drawing some buildings. I've been looking at some of the old photos I had taken from when I went to Tokyo, and it's really gotten me in the mood to draw those types of buildings again. I found them so interesting to draw. Anyways, I'm using my mechanical pencil here, the Uniball Kuru Toga, and I mean, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I only use this pencil the majority of the time. I rarely draw with anything else these days. Before I started using mechanical pencils, I would have a, a full set of standard pencils to draw with, like a, a set of Faber-Castells. I actually have a, a set here that I bought recently when I was travelling. I didn't take any of my usual supplies, so I bought these at an art shop. I didn't really do any drawing though, but yeah, these are some good quality pencils if you need some. I've always used pencils ever since I was a kid. They were always available, you know, like you could find a, a pencil and some paper in most places and that's all you need to draw. It's a, a rather simple tool, but you can do a lot with them. There's that saying, isn't there? A bad artist blames their tools or, or something like that, but there's a, a lot of truth to it. You can have all of the equipment and, and the best tools available, but if you don't learn how to draw first, if you, if you don't have any technique, then you're not going to produce good drawings. I'm really glad in, in retrospect that these digital drawing tablets and, and all of this technology wasn't available when I was younger, or at least they weren't as common as they are now, because it, it forced me to pick up a pencil and draw traditionally. Which is a, a good skill to have, right? I mean, if you can draw digitally, you can likely draw traditionally as well, and vice versa, but who knows if I'd have even been here doing this and creating these drawings if I had gotten a, a digital drawing tablet when I was younger. I was thinking about getting an iPad the other day, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for it yet. I'd mostly use it to colour my drawings, I think, but I'm scared that if I started to use it, I'd gradually start to transition to only drawing digitally, which, I mean, it has its good and bad points, but I don't know, I, I need to think about it. I don't think there's many people on YouTube who draw traditionally like this, or at least there's more artists who work digitally as opposed to making traditional art. I suppose that's just the way the world is going though, things have evolved, I'm just a, a little stuck in my ways I guess, but I, I really enjoy drawing in my sketchbook like this, and drawing with a pencil is what I enjoy most. I like being accurate and controlled when drawing. I have tried using pen in the past, but the fact that it's permanent puts me off a little. I know some people say that that's what's good about drawing with a pen because it, it makes you think more and be more deliberate with your lines, but I really appreciate the fact that I can erase something if it's drawn in pencil. I mean, people who work digitally, they rely on the undo function, and I, I always see artists redrawing things. So for me, it's not so much about undoing my mistakes, it's also a means of redoing and editing. I was working on this drawing the other day, and I was kind of happy with it, but I still felt like it was missing something. And so, I was trying to think what I could do to the drawing to make it that little bit better, and I, I had this idea to draw something on this balcony here. And so what I did was, I used my Monozera eraser to erase some of the pencil behind this handrail, and then I started to draw this fat sleeping cat on the balcony, and because I was drawing in pencil, I was able to erase and then edit the drawing like this afterwards. 
on a few occasions I've looked at an older drawing and decided to edit it whereas if I was drawing in pen it would be a, a lot harder to do that. Some people even use Tipex to try and white out the pen but that's just too messy for me. Anyways, I'm drawing this house here, and I mean watching me draw like this, you can probably tell that I try to be very precise in how I draw my lines. I'll often use a, a ruler as well to draw those straight lines. One thing that's really important when drawing in pencil is having the ability to produce different textures, and that's done by changing the way you control and move the pencil. In terms of shading, I don't like to apply a lot of pressure, and so because of that, the finished drawing will often look a lot lighter, and some people have said that my drawings lack contrast and that I should add some darker tones to give them more depth, but personally, I prefer how the drawing looks when I don't try to add a lot of contrast. I kind of prioritise the line work in a way, and then I add some light shades and textures over the sections that I draw. Like when you are creating a drawing, you have the lighter tones and the darker tones, and those are relative to the drawing. So for instance, if I apply a lot of pressure to create a turn that's basically black, right? Then that sets the standard, and then all of the other turns and shades will have to darken as well, depending on the drawing. But let's say if the darkest tone in my drawing is more like a, a grey, like the underside of this roof that I'm drawing, then that sets the standard and then the other turns can be lighter. I I'm not sure if that makes sense, basically it's like turning up the brightness on an image. The blacks become grey and the greys get lighter. I also think my drawings look more delicate and that this is more appropriate when it comes to working in pencil. If I wanted to achieve really dark turns, I'd draw with a, a pen or even in charcoal, but Again, that's just my opinion, and these are my drawings anyways, so I'll do what I want to do. There's a few drawings in this sketchbook that I did a, a few years ago, and if you look at them, you'll see that they are essentially line drawings. And I've just added some light shading and textures to everything. I'm not trying to produce a realistic pencil drawing here. But back to this drawing, here I'm almost finished with this one, I just need to work down and start to draw in the wall that is actually on a, a different angle to the house. I'll use a ruler to outline this and I'm going to add some texture to this brick wall. I'll also start to draw in some of the path and road below. I like how this drawing has turned out though, I'm definitely going to start creating more drawings in this sketchbook, it, it's one of my favourite things to do, to just sit down on a night after work, put on some music and, and draw for a few hours. I do want to draw more buildings that I came across in Tokyo as well. A lot of the drawings that exist in this sketchbook currently are drawn from my imagination, so I'll still make sure to do more drawings like that as well. You guys know that I like to draw buildings and, and cityscapes, which does require a good understanding of perspective. I have plenty of instructional videos on the channel covering that subject. So that's another page done. I haven't really filled much of this sketchbook at all, but I do intend on making some more content like this. I hope you enjoy this format, by the way. I enjoy making these because I can just do some drawing and, and talk to you about anything, really. So if you do want to see more, be sure to give the video a like. And yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the content I create, then do consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You will gain access to exclusive tutorials, study documents, process papers, real-time drawing footage and more. Plus, you will also be supporting me in a more personal way. Other than that, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.